I want to get my money under control. A friend said I should try the 70, 20, 10 rule. What is that? It's a super simple way of tackling budgeting and it could make a big difference to your savings. Now what I'm about to say is not financial advice. If you need that, you should definitely speak to a financial advisor. But the 70-20-10 rule is the simple way to help you think about how you use your money. The trick, it's simple. You just break down your monthly income into three different chunks. You've got 70% for your must-haves, 20% for your wants, 10% for your savings. So your must-haves are bills you don't have a choice about. Things like your mortgage, your rent, credit card, power bills, school fees, grocery, your travel to work, or even your insurance. Those online streaming subscriptions don't count, I'm afraid. Even new clothes don't count, because you can usually put them off. And if something can be put off, then it's probably not a must-have. Working out what's 100% necessary and what's not is a great way to make smart financial choices. Now for your 20% of wants. When you're being super careful with money, it's still important to plan on spending some money on your wants. The clothes may not be a must-have every month, but you'll probably need to buy some over the course of the year. And with a 20% want budget, you can decide what you use it for each and every month. So these wants could include things like takeaways, phone plans, shoes or a night out with your friends and family. They can definitely play an important part in your life, but keeping these expenses at just 20% of your outgoings could really help you keep on top of your finances. A good attitude to have with your wants is that once you've spent it, it's gone. So you have to wait until your next paycheck before spending again. And now to your savings and debt. 10% may not seem like much of your income, but over time, any savings can really start to add up. The most important thing about saving, like exercise, is starting to make it a habit. And if you don't have any debt, then great, lucky you. The whole 10% could go straight into your savings. If you've got any debts that you're finding it hard to pay off, then you can focus on your debt repayments instead. Everyone's financial situation is different, but no matter what the size of your income, if you can get your money under control and start saving on a regular basis, then you're well on the path to achieving your financial goals. So remember, 70, 20, 10. Give it a go. And if you're struggling with your finances, there are some great resources on the government website, Money Smart. If you're a Pepper Money customer and you're looking for help, do get in touch with our customer support team. And if you're working on saving a deposit to get sorted for a home loan, talk to us or speak to your broker. Now here's some important information you need to know. That's it from me.